Good day, everyone. Good day. Good day. Good day. It's your boy Black Cheetah. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you subscribe. And don't mind to leave a like and comment. So today I'm gonna show you how to mix your vocals like Black Diamond from Mozanzi. And congratulations to them, they reach 3 million, I think, on the uh, Facebook page. But anyway, today I'm going to show you how to mix vocals like Black Diamond, Java, Mlungisi, and New Kid into multi records. So, first of all, I'm going to show you how to do everything. So first of all, you need to group your vocals, of course, as you can see. I grouped my vocals here. I group my vocals here. So this is the first thing that you're going to do. So yeah, you can listen to these vocals. They are mixed. You can listen to them. <laughs> you can hear the vocals are lit i mix these vocals these vocals is the song by mohoto apoko he featured some artists from kz and kwazulu natala so this is how i mix these vocals so let's not waste time and let's get straight to it the first thing that i did on this vocal but let me just mute and switch off everything then uh, group two group two group two let's switch everything okay the first thing that i did is that i group the vocals and the first effect that i use is that i used auto tune which is auto tune 8.1 of course this is the best auto tune i got for now so on my vocals i used auto tune 8.1 then i chose this key major major db so this is how i set up my auto tune for these vocals so let's just listen to these vocals with auto tune only okay let's go let's go yes this is a good auto tune for us for now okay so and the other thing that i use is that i used ns1 mono the reason why i used ns1 mono it is because of like ns1 it removed the unwanted background noise maybe the dogs parking outside you know people are talking at the background so this effect it removed those background noises so you need to use this effect okay so this is what i use on this chain on this chain so the rest we're gonna use on this group we're gonna use the rest on this group so you can hear the vocal <laughs> okay fine our vocals are safe background noise are removed the auto tune is good so let's go to our group then let's go to our group where we grouped this vocal so the first effect again that i used on this group is that i use the vocal rider the vocal rider it is important effect that you need to use on your on your vocal so that it can give the vocal a a good level and also it can make the vocal like to sound to sound good 
it balanced the vocal you know it balanced the vocal so this is how i set up or this is how my vocal writer look on this this is how my vocal writer look okay so let's hear the 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 the, the vocal with this effect you can hear okay the other one the next one that i use it is equalizer from waves all the effects are from waves guys you need to get yourself waves bundle so the second one that i used is f6 mono it's the effect from from waves it's an equalizer so on this effect like i i i reduced or dragged out my lower frequencies of course then i just removed all the unwanted noise the margin madness and all that you see I removed all the muddiness noise, unwanted noise, like I thin my vocals with this equalizer. I hope you saw this all on my previous videos. This is what I used to clean up my vocals. So yes, guys, this is how it looks. This is how it looks. So the other one that I used is compressor, of course. You know my favorite compressor. It is C1 compressor from Waves. This is my favorite compressor because of like it can take the vocals if the vocals are down and high, down and high, you know, but it, 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 it takes the vocals and put it on the same level and put it on the same volume, same balance, like it is good for vocals and also it compress the vocals beside that. So this is how my compressor look. My makeup is 7.1 threshold is minus 24 as you can see here then my ratio is on three so yes guys let's hear our vocal with this okay we are getting there so the other one the next one that i used it is equalizer so we need to brighten our vocals give our vocals light uh, yeah shape up our vocals so i just re removed the uh, or dragged drag down a low frequencies a little bit you know from these compressors so i just did this and brighten my uh, vocal so this is how my equalizer look so this equalizer it is req6 mono from waves so yeah let's hear the vocal how it sound with this equalizer without this equalizer yeah yeah i hope you can hear a difference guys so yeah the next one that we're gonna use we're gonna use a last compressor so let's just shape our vocals because of like our vocals we just brighten it right now so let's just uh, uh, make it smooth you know let's make our vocal smooth let's shape our vocals so i i like to use this compressor cla2 for that so let's hear our vocal with and without the compressor I will switch on and off this compressor so that you can hear the difference. Ne? Let's hear. Yeah, I hope we can hear a difference, guys. So let's hear these vocals with the beat. So the next one that we're gonna use 
this one it only give the vocal um, a light i can say it only gives the vocal a light it also it, it is like equalizer but it is not the equalizer you know this is a vitamin mono from waves so this is how my vitamin mono looks guys you can just copy this and use it on your vocal and see if you're gonna get the same result okay so let's hear let's hear let's hear let me switch the beat yeah 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 guys as you can see this is not difficult this is not difficult you want to sound like malume vector you want to sound like black diamond use this vocal chain i use c1 hybrid microphone i use a cheap microphone but i can reach some quality sound so copy this vocal chain and use it then tell me if it will work for you you can just comment so the other one the the, the 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 second last one effect that you're gonna use it's a ds of course we're gonna we, we, we have to remove those s's you know we have to remove those s's we all know how does ds work why we need to use ds on our every vocal <laughs> okay so the last one that i like to use on my vocal chain it is mega tag because of like i feel like my vocals are down and i don't want to use a limiter i don't want to lose a limiter and i don't want to play with the volumes you know so i like to use this uh, as mega tag because i want my vocal to sit right on a beat so yeah guys as you can see this is how my mega tag look my attack is on 30 and my mix is on 32 so let's hear let's hear let's hear yeah this is how this is how you mix your vocals especially afro pop vocals especially if you want to sound like java you want to sound like black diamond you want to sound like you know all these artists who are singing afro pop so this is how you need to do your things okay so yeah but this is not the last of course we need to use a, a reverb and delays on our vocal of course so let's see let's see let's see on my vocal i send my reverb as a fx you know i send my reverb as a fx i hope you know how to use your reverb and send your reverb on a as a fx on cubase you know if you don't know scroll down to my channel and check it so yeah the reverb that i used for these vocals it is called many m reverb always i use this reverb so this reverb is from waves guys so this is the effect this, the reverb i mean that i used i choose small i choose a chamber you know so this is how it looks let's hear our vocal with this reverb are we gonna get a nice sound or what <laughs> you can hear we are getting there so the last thing that we're gonna use we're gonna use a delay of course a delay it is from waves all the effects that i use are from waves so the delay it is from many m from waves so this is how my delay looks you know this is how my delay looks guys this is how my delay looks copy this copy this copy this and try it you know
so let's hear let's hear let's hear the result but i feel uh, i feel i feel that my reverb is not so so good i mean my delay is not so good so let me just play with it a little bit and let me just hear Let me just put it back. Uh, let me okay. Step one to two. This is all guys this is all this is all but i'm just gonna reduce this delay a little bit because i feel like each the vocal are not sitting right with this delay you know so i just did the same thing on my backups as you can do and as you can see i did the same thing on my backup and all these vocals i did the same thing guys this is the same thing same thing same thing i just switch on the same thing you know let's hear <laughs> Yes, guys, if you liked what I did, if you liked what I just show you right now, if you liked my work, just subscribe, just subscribe, just subscribe, and leave a comment. If this thing is not working for you, just leave a comment. I'm going to help you out if it's possible, you feel me? So I'm going to see you on the next video and wait for for my videos guys wait for my videos don't 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 just watch my videos without subscribing feel me so i'm gonna see you on the next video thanks for watching